Hey guys, uh, okay, so this is basically just a very, very quick pickup video. Um, this was kind of pickups from the last two days. Um, nothing too spectacular, but I'll run you through them very quickly anyway. Uh, it's about quarter past midnight at the moment, so I, I, I kind of wanted to at least make sure I got these done because obviously I went quite a while without making any videos. Uh, and I don't want to fall back into that kind of laziness factor again. So I just want to get these um, shown to you guys and see what you guys think. Um, I have some uh, cups first. This is a Gourmet uh, Mickey Mouse Disneyland Paris cup. Um, you can just see the, the uh, logo there and you can see Mickey there. Um, I thought there was there's also a, like a tag inside. Um, I thought there would be more money in these. Um, I say these because I actually picked up two of them. Um, they're pretty decent sized cups. Um, I mean, you can see how sort of big they are. They're really, really nice. But uh, I thought there was going to be more money being that they were from Disneyland Paris. Um, there really isn't. Maybe, maybe about £4 a cup. I paid a pound each. Uh, there we go. So I might, I might just bundle them up, say two for a tenner or something like that. Um, but I really did think there'd be more in these. But uh, yeah, I'm glad I got them because it's worth buying it to find out it wasn't rather than coming back having a look on eBay and then wishing you'd picked them up, especially for a pound each. Um, you know, they are pretty nice cups. They will sell. Just might not be for as much profit as I'd hoped. Um, but yeah, so they're not, they're not too bad, but two for a tenner, maybe, maybe. Um, put these down here. I also picked up four of these. I'm kind of late on these, but um, I picked up... There we go. I picked up four of these soup cups. Um, and they were 50 pence each, or really the, the four for, for um, two quid. Um, but yeah, so I got mushroom and chicken and tomato and onion. Um, still need to get two more before I can really say I've got the whole set. Uh, once I've got the whole set, you're looking at like 25, 30 quid quite happily, uh, which isn't too bad. Um, next up we have this guy, um, which is a character called the face of Bo or Boa or Bowie. I don't watch Doctor Who, so anyone that does, I've probably butchered the name, but um, and I believe it may have been one of those like collector magazine figures. Um, sorry about the light here, but yeah, it's um, Face of Boa, and that's pretty cool. If you guys saw the hangout uh, that I did with Sam and uh, Adam Robinson, uh, if you didn't, I'm going to post a link in the description, but for those of you that don't know, I do a Sort of two every two or three weeks I do a, a live hangout with Sam from Sam's Pickup and Buys. Um and sometimes we have a special uh, <coughs> excuse me, a special guest. And we had Adam Robinson, who um most of you probably know by now. Um and I showed this in that video, but uh but yeah, it was a pretty good little pickup and it was very weird looking and I didn't really know him but I knew it was different and I like different. I like seeing that strange object and thinking going to buy that because I just never know what it is and um, there's like a little mechanism on the you can't really see it but a little mechanism on the top that makes his mouth move and stuff and yeah not, not much in fairness but yeah it's uh, it's not too bad it's in good condition I paid I believe it was £1.50 for this I got it listed for £15 and it's already got a couple of watches not that they really mean much but at least it shows a little bit of interest um, but yeah, this, this sells for 10 15 as it is. Uh, in its box, you'll definitely get 15 But um, yeah, I'm, I might get 15 It has sold for 15 like this, so fingers crossed I'll get the 15 uh, I have a couple of these. I only got them because they were Mickey Mouse. Um, but of course, Mickey is the more produced, or one of the most produced characters in plush toys. So all because it's Mickey doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be great, but... I have this guy here who um, I can't remember what version this guy is, but oh, posh paws, and uh, he does talk. Come on, 
clap our hands. There you go. But, uh, So yeah, not too bad. It does work, and uh, as you can tell, and uh, I paid one pound, f uh, one pound, sorry, one pound for this guy. Uh, I paid one fifty for this larger one, which is the, I believe it's they called it the singing interactive one, but I don't know if it really counts as singing as he just plays a tune. And he plays different tunes, but um, this one is about eight to nine pounds. List that's listed, um, and this guy's I think about five or six pounds. There's a bit of profit in there, not too much. I, I might bundle them and maybe ask for like fifteen. Um, but I'll see. I, I may not get that. I probably won't, to be honest. But they were pretty decent condition, and I thought I've never really sort of bought and sold Mickey Mouse plushes before. So I want to. I just wanted to give it a go, really. Uh, right. Okay. Let's put those down. Let's deal with these. Got this here, which is a, a 1992, still boxed, still sealed, uh, Kenner penguin figure from uh, Batman Returns. You can see it there. And uh, I'm going to hold it still a bit because I've been told in the past that I move stuff around too much. So as you can see. Okay, so we've got Penguin, and you may not be able to see, but on the back it is from 1992, Tonka Corporation, and it was distributed by Hasbro um, to do with the movie. And uh, it was kind of a little story about this, because I, I was in uh, the shop buying two other items, which I'll show you in a second, and uh, this woman bought in loads of bags and, and like this massive vase, and uh, I just noticed, like, just as I was standing at the counter, I noticed the bat symbol. And I thought, I wonder what, I wonder what that is. And I noticed by the, how thin the card was, that it was probably a figure of some sort. But as you can see, I, I only just saw, like, that part in the bag. And I thought, you know what, I'm not going to ask because they haven't priced them up. I don't even know what it is. So I left the shop, I visited some others, but it was still playing on my mind what this was. Because I knew whatever it was was sealed. And it could have been a you know quite a new figure that doesn't go for much. I wasn't expecting it to be 992. So um I went back in there and I said, look, you know, I, I said I was just in here a minute ago. And I couldn't help but notice that there may have been a Batman figure uh, in the, the bags that were just bought in. Um I said, is there any chance, you know, have you have have you had a chance to price it up? Is is it for sale now? Is there any chance that maybe you could look out in the back for me? Um, and credit, you know, I'll give her credit, she did, and some other lady came out holding this, and like this uh, kind of big plush toy, big round orange plush toy, and she handed them to me, and she said, oh, we're very sorry, um, and I'm kind of looking, thinking, what's what's this about, what's what's the plush toy and stuff, and, and she said to me, oh, well, did you just, did you just come in and donate these, and you wanted them back, so I'm like, no, 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 I said, I want to buy it. I want, I don't, I, I'm not the one that donated them. I just want to buy it. Um, so she said, oh, sorry. I said, I could have walked out with, with these, you know. She went, oh, sorry, yeah. I thought you donated them and you wanted them back. So I'm like, no, no, no. I said, just, just want to buy it. And uh, luckily, because it wasn't priced up, they only charged me £1.99 for this. Um, the lady said, if we'd actually had a chance to price it up and look on, well, she actually said look online, but we know she means eBay. Uh, she said, if we had a chance to look online for some things, it may have been around the £5 mark because it's still sealed. But I, so I got it for one ninety nine, all because I asked. Um, and I've checked online. Uh, sorry, my phone's going. Um, I checked online and there's one on Amazon for forty nine ninety nine, And I believe there was one on eBay for around about the same. Um, I, I think that's very optimistic. I can't imagine getting that. I think I've I've listed this for thirty nine ninety nine, but with best offer, because I know somebody might come in around the twenty twenty five, maybe even lower. But I paid the one ninety nine, so if I feel I've got a good offer and it's a good return, I will sell it. But uh, but I know I've got something pretty rare here. At the moment, I'm the only one listed on eBay, um, still sealed. So 
So yeah, hopefully might might do okay there. Um, this one not really that great, unfortunately. It's a uh, I only once again I only got it because it was brand new and sealed. Um, I paid one pound fifty, and it is the uh, DreamWorks Home color changing figure. And basically, you kind of drop him in some hot water or warm water, and uh, he changes color. Uh, may not focus, but yeah, changes color. Um, only got it because it was brand new and sealed. Uh, adds a little bit of value to it, maybe about eight or nine pounds. That's sale price. Um, so not too much, but it's always good. It's always good to look out for like brand new and sealed stuff. And it is DreamWorks, so it is a good sort of like collectible range. So hopefully it will sell pretty quick. Um, it's not listed yet. I've just forgot to do it. I've been listing other things, but uh, I'll list that over the weekend. Um, I got this, which unfortunately isn't complete. And annoyingly, it's like the main part. Um, this is Hot Wheels Crash Canyon. Uh, there's none on eBay that I've seen. They tend to go in, in America. I think it's about twelve to fifteen pounds, but the box looks different in, in America. It's like different uh, title and stuff, uh, or font, I should say. But uh, yes, yeah, Crash Canyon. You get like a couple of cars. I think unfortunately that car's missing, and also the main part there. I've got the stickers that you stick on his head and that. Um, but uh, if I show you that one there, it's that part there that's missing, and a yellow car. So I'm just going to sell it as incomplete. Uh, I didn't pay much for it. I think I may have paid a couple of quid. So I'm not out of pocket too much, but it is a shame because vintage Hot Wheels may have been okay. I say vintage. I think it's like 2001. Yeah, 2001 Mattel. So it's a shame that it wasn't complete. I think I may have done all right on that. Maybe maybe a good 15 20 quid if it had been complete but uh you know it's one of those things you have to buy it sometimes i couldn't open it in the shop um so yeah i think i still get my money back but it is, it is incomplete unfortunately um next up we have this which it isn't a great seller game wise uh, mine is the only one that has a watcher um the other there's like three listed on eBay, I think it's like £10, 15 and something like £39 or something, something stupid. Um, and it's a, a game called Rexami. And it's actually made by a local Essex um, game inventor. Um, but mine's the only one with a, with a watcher. And I'm thinking because mine happens to be signed by, um, I believe it's John Wildsmith. I think it's one. I think it's John Wildsmith. Yeah, John C. Wildsmith. Enjoy. Inventor. 14th of the 8th. 08. 08. So, I'm thinking mine's got a watcher purely because it's signed by the inventor. Which is pretty cool. Pretty rare. And for game collectors, even if they didn't really value this one as a, a sort of the game, they might go for it because of the signature. Which is pretty cool. And I, I googled the guy and, and yeah, he, he actually lives pretty local to me. So, Probably explains why I was in a local charity shop. Um, let's just find some space here. This one here, I'm going to leave that one till last because that's probably my best pickup, to be honest. Um, actually, I'm going to quickly show you this. I only bought it because it was 50p. Um, it's a Harrods Knightsbridge uh, corkscrew bottle opener and knife. Um, let's try and get it to focus a bit. Maybe a little bit. There we go. It's not much value in it, um, at least I don't think. There's actually none on eBay at all. Um, there are some Harrods ones on there, but it's like a, a curved one. Um, and it doesn't say Harrods Night Bridge on it, or at least not what I saw. But um, yeah, it all opens up and stuff. I'm not sure if I can actually sell this on eBay, because uh, it is classed as a knife. But, but we'll see, so yeah. Maybe, maybe five or in it. I paid 50p, so if it doesn't sell, it doesn't sell. But uh, yeah, it's just something I thought was quite nice. Kind of because of the name, Harrods Knightsbridge. There, there are some people that collect just the um, Harrods brand, so who knows? Maybe. 
Um, I'll leave that one for now. I'll show you these. Um, these are Disney um, planes. Let's try and get the focus. Disney planes, um, brand new in box. Um, it's not much value in fairness. These are um, Dusty Crop Hopper and L Trooper Cabra. Um, now, usually I won't bother going for these because there's not too much value. Um, I paid £2.49, so I paid quite a bit for them. But the only reason that I went for them is because it was one of the Disney Store exclusives. Um, may not focus, but yeah, we are. Disney Store exclusive. Um, but there are, from what I've seen, when I, at least when I last looked for these, there was no other Disney ex Disney Store ones on eBay. Um, it was just the like standard ones that you can get in most stores. So I'm not sure if there's really going to be much value in these. I'm going to try for... I might put them up for like £15 and what somebody probably offer me a fiver for. But uh, to be honest, I'd probably take it because I charge postage as well. So at least I still make my money back. But uh, yeah, I thought they were pretty cool because they were brand new and sealed. But maybe not. Um, and I'll show you... This, which was not much value-wise, I've actually already sold this to a friend of mine who is a, like, a, ma um, a massive games collector. But it's a uh, Rainbow Six Raven Shield, and I got it because this is the collector's edition. So you get like a poster in there, and you get um, like a fold-out edition of the game, uh, which I'll show you, just so you guys know what to look for. Um, yeah, it's like a fold-out edition of the game, and. Also, obviously the manual and stuff, but you also get these uh, like prints and that as well. So you get game prints. Um, it's quite a nice little sort of like box really, but not much value in it. I paid I paid seventy five p because it was in really good condition, and I've sold it to them for a fiver plus postage. So. Yeah, I don't mind. Uh, I think eBay is like three to five pounds, so I would have actually made less if I'd listed it. But that's going to go directly to him. So, um, okay. So we have there. We are. Okay, so I have this one next, which I thought there'd be more value in, or at least more interest, I should say. Um, it's an Avengers uh, 3D puzzle. Now, as you can. See, it's one of them lenticular ones, so the, the picture changes as you move, and uh, it's really pretty cool. And there's six puzzles in here. Um, they they did one with three puzzles, uh, sorry, with five puzzles. And how you can tell is, I mean, obviously this one says include six puzzles, but also that picture there has changed from the five to the six. The six it says 100 each puzzle. On the box with five, it says three times 100 pieces and two times 50 pieces, I believe it says. So um, if you to look for this one, it's just six puzzles and make sure it says 100 each puzzle there. Um, and on the back, it shows all the puzzles and it's top, top quality. Um, the actual puzzles themselves are real, real good make. Only one of the puzzles was open. Um, so I resealed the puzzle. All the, all the parts are still there. The other five were still factory sealed. On Amazon, brand new. They're, list, they're listed for 80, 80 quid, which is very optimistic. Um, even on FBA, that's quite high. Um, on eBay, they they range from like 20 to 45 pounds, but they're just not selling. There's there's just none are selling at all. I believe I've got this listed for 20 or around about that. Um, it may go, it may not. Around Christmas, I reckon it would go like that. But at the moment, maybe not. Obviously, when the uh, Civil War is out properly, maybe people will start buying a few Avengers items. Certainly hope so. So, yeah. Um, but I paid a 199 for this because uh, it was in such great condition, still with the little um, tag as well so yeah pretty good for the price and, and it was great condition as well so um 
And second to last is this one here, which is um, Despicable Me Super Pinball. Um, obviously with good old minions. Um, and I picked this up for £2.50 and I'm going to sell this for about £12.99. So there's not too much profit in it. But um, it is, it was like really, really good condition. The box was really good. Um, and everyone loves the minions. So yeah, that will go for 12 99 Quite happily, I, I feel. Maybe not just yet. It ain't going to be like a really quick seller. But it will go for 12 99 um, And lastly, my pickup of the day. It's all complete. It is pretty much mint condition. Um, I was very happy with this one. It cost me £1.99 or maybe £2.99. I can't quite remember. Um, but either way, Harry Potter, seen it, the complete cinematic journey. That's the, that's the one you want to look for, okay? All the others, yeah. This one is the one to look for. It's absolutely mint. Every corner is still sharp and smooth. No tears. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. And the contents are top notch um i've currently got this listed for 50 pounds on ebay um they sell quite often for 50 um i don't think i'll get 50 i reckon somebody might come in with 40 or 45 and i'll, I'll probably take that because 50 is high end um you know I, I am a quick churn and burn kind of guy but there are some items that you you don't want to sell quickly or under or undervalue I know this goes for 50, so I will sit there and I will wait for this to go for 50 uh, because it is tremendous condition. So, yeah, so that's that. Uh, thanks for watching. It's been about 22 minutes now. Um, I'm going to throw in some footage that I filmed at auction um, at the end of this video. There wasn't too much uh, footage. There was about four or five minutes, so I apologise. It ain't going to be mind-blowing footage. Um, I am very, very soon going to be ordering some DVR glasses so I can take that into charity shops, boot sales, auction house and really get you some real, real good footage because um, I want to sort of just not necessarily change my channel but just add something to my channel more than just here's what I bought, here's what I sold. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching um, and hopefully I should update you again on the weekend because I'm doing... Uh, a boot sale if the weather is good enough right now it's kind of on edge it's hit and miss whether it's going to be raining or whether it's going to be really windy or whether it's going to be sunny um, unfortunately the weather is just all over the place for Sunday at the moment so yeah thank you for watching uh, stay tuned for the auction footage if you want it um, I, I should just say this is the auction open day so it's just me looking around a few boxes and stuff it's not an actual auction because I didn't really see anything that I wanted enough to go the following day and bid. So, anyways, I'm not going to take up any more of your time. Thank you for watching. Um, just thank you to everybody who's ever watched my videos and ever subscribed. They, it means so much to me, so thank you. Um, yeah, have a great weekend and uh, enjoy your Easter. Uh, cheers.
Mm-hmm.